But I don't want to learn keystrokes. But the path forward without keystrokes is uh, mm, slow and dumb from the danger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no, don't get real sad. I had a bug on me. <laughs> and he's right. Fraught with danger. <laughs> Let's skirt that danger. All right, first thing I want to show you is the space bar. Stop. Go. It's a toggle. Super. Next thing, up here on the timeline, click when your cursor looks like this little four-pointed cross thing, and then hold, and you can zoom in and out and go left and right, and it's a whole lot of functionality packed into one little move right there. Don't leave home without that one. G and H are good ones to know. G will zoom out, and H will zoom in, and then the cooler part is you hold down shift, and you'll do the same thing vertically. Right, pretty fun. The next one I probably use the most after all that is uh, F3. Um, F3 brings up your mix console. You're gonna do a lot of mixing in Cubase, so uh, that one's always 100 times a day. <laughs> uh, the alternate for uh, using the space bar to start is um, on the right hand, you can use your number pad to do a bunch of things, which are all very useful. Uh, play is the enter key, and then zero will stop. They're not toggles. So one is play and one is stop distinctly. And then the cool thing is in between them, you have your period or delete key, uh, which will take you back to the beginning of your project. Boop. Then one and two will take you to your left locator and right locator respectively. Another very useful one. Keys three through nine on the number pad will jump to markers. We'll cover that in a video soon. You have your plus and minus key. They basically act like fast forward and rewind. And remember, those are on the numpad. Then you have your the asterisk key, which is uh, our record key. If you have something armed right there with the red, you can just go ahead and click that key and you will begin recording. The slash key up on the numpad will toggle your loop on and off, whether you want to loop or not. It will not mess with your locators, but it will just make it whether your playhead scoots back to the beginning or not. Here are a few cool mouse wheel tricks. Just using your mouse wheel will uh, scroll up and down as usual, but one useful trick is to hit control, and then you'll be able to zoom in and out wherever you place your cursor. If you hit the shift key, you can move left and right, which is really helpful if you have a gigantic project. If you're zoomed in and you want to see your whole track, you can just hit shift and F for full track, I always think of. That's a good one. If you have a track that you want to zoom in on, say I just want to look at King Fu's vocal over here alone, I can just hit Z and it'll zoom in on that. If I hit Z again, it'll zoom back out. Turning your snap to grid on and off is also a good one to know. Uh, all you got to do is hit J. J will turn it on, J will turn it off. It's a toggle. The locators, you can move these just by clicking on them and sliding them. But I think a better way to do it is to either hold down Control or Alt for your left and right locators, respectively. Control and click somewhere on the timeline. And that will move your left locator and hit Alt and click where you want your right locator to go. And you're all set. Remember, on your numpad, one and two will take your playhead to the beginning and end of your locators. If you want to select a certain portion by your clips, you can select a clip and press P, and that will set your locators to that. You can select more than one clip and P that. And that will work with just about anything. Say I just want to hear these drums here, I can just hit Alt and P and it will set the locators to those clips. It will turn on looping and it will play it for me. Three and one, that's a really useful one. So Alt P, that is. All right, you creative creatures, we're done for the day. I promised less than five minutes and I delivered. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Special thanks to Gerald Anderson, our first Patreon subscriber. Because of you, Mr. Anderson, because of you, I'm no longer an agent of this system. Because of you, I've changed, I'm unplugged, an 
new man. <laughs> so for three bucks a month, price of a cup of coffee, you can come help us out to keep making cool videos. And I can't promise you I'll do a clip that cool. All depends on what your name is, if I can find it or not. <laughs> Have a great day. I'll see you guys on Friday. Much love.